maintain or restore their trust in, in the, the necessity of them being out there to tell the story. Um, yesterday was a day filled with with tension. It was it was a day unlike any other us in Minnesota had seen. Um, the raw emotions were on display, and as I said yesterday, the beautiful uh, expression of solidarity and community that we saw played out um, by peaceful protesters. Um, by that beautiful tapestry that's Minnesota, um, indigenous dancers leading in the middle while the crowd kneeled around in reverence um, in, uh, in making sure that justice was served. I gathered yesterday with a group of, of leaders, elected leaders, clergy, uh, moral leaders, uh, led with Lieutenant Governor Flanagan, Senators Klobuchar and Smith, and then an array, an array of leaders. If any of you got the opportunity to hear some of those remarks, um, I said for the first time in quite some time, a weight felt off my heart was soared up, soaring up at what Minnesota could be. And I, we were there together for dual purpose. The first was to send a message to stay home last night, to stay off the streets, to allow us to execute this so that we wouldn't have a loss of life and we could restore order. But it was very clear that was not the primary message. That message was a means to an end. Each and every one of them did, and with the gift they've given us that sun came up this morning, to open up the space for the real conversation, a real understanding that George Floyd was dead and the conditions here in Minnesota contributed to that and, and that we needed to deal with that. That space was created by last night's action to have us deal with the systemic issues that we see exploding across the country. Before I was in elected office, I was, I'm a public school teacher by trade. I spent 20 years doing that. One of the things I was most proud of, and I think as Minnesotans, um, many of you across the world may be getting your first and first look at who we are. Um, and that's unfortunate, but, but it's real. I and mean, we'll take that, that, that look. Um, but one of the things the public school which I'm so proud of, our public schools consistently rank at or near the top. Um, we're a state uh, that uh, oh. extends from uh, the Canadian border. Damn! So clear and pristine.